What is up guys, Tommy H here, and welcome back to another video regarding Godzilla vs King Kong. So a couple of days ago I did talk about the rivalry between King Kong and the Skull Crawlers on Skull Island. There are still lots of mysteries regarding their relationship, and even as I was trying to answer the question of that specific video, the whole idea that it's very hard to wake up the Skull Crawlers is what stuck in my mind. Right now we only have two objective examples as to when the school crawlers did rise up. Typically, as we know, they stayed down below. That is where they always have lived on Skull Island. The first one is the human beings dropping bombs on the surface. This happened back in the 1970s. In 2019, as we know, the call of King Ghidorah is what woke up the skull crawlers now. But in order for these two species to clash, there has to be a reason for them to rise to the surface. Both of the examples I listed don't have anything to do with King Kong. The species of ape that lived on the island never seemed to wake them up. But way back in the early 1900s, these species went head to head. So in that time period, there had to be something on or off the island that woke the skull crawlers up. Otherwise, Kong species would never have to stop them from coming up. There would be no issue and they would continue reigning. So of course, the theory I am about the layout will be a bit unlikely, but it would give a much deeper and bigger purpose for King Kong to fight Godzilla. So it's going to be hard to predict whether or not Godzilla actually went on the island or not, but one of his actions, whether it was a roar, stomping on the island, or even swimming very close to the island closer than he ever has before, is what woke them up. It may be a bit more likely that he actually was on the island considering the cave painting. Perhaps he arrived on the island and began fighting Kong species. And all of the battling, the roaring, the grunting, and the movement alone is what alerted the skull crawlers. As soon as Godzilla saw all these different skull crawlers rising up, he left the island to avoid the chaos. And already injured and damaged, Kong species was forced to battle the skull crawlers at a disadvantage. This gives even more of a reason why the skull crawlers actually took them out. Typically, we are inclined to believe that Kong's entire species is full of alphas. They are gigantic apes, they are very intelligent very powerful and very experienced in combat. So how would they die to 15 foot tall skull crawlers? Obviously the dangerous one was the big one, but there was only one of those gigantic skull crawlers. The rest of them were normal sized. One of the few plausible reasons for that is they were damaged by Godzilla. At this point we don't know if King Kong was already born or not. Maybe his mother gave birth to him after Godzilla arrived. She knew this was going to be a dangerous battle, so she made sure to give King Kong life before she died off. King Kong as a juvenile saw this, and deep down he knows that it's Godzilla who got his parents killed. That would most certainly light his fire for the battle with Godzilla in 2020. What are your thoughts on this? What made the skull crawlers rise up in the early 1900s? Write all of your opinions on this topic down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.